Yeah, hi, my name is Michelle, and I'm a writer for Next Shark. Hey, Michelle. Thank you, you for doing? being here. Um, first you. of all, congratulations to you both. Um, I was able to watch the movie last night, and oh, right um, I cried and laughed so much. Yeah. Um, so it's sincerely a really beautiful movie. So thank oh, you awesome. both so much. Like I walked out there with a really full heart. Oh, that's oh. So I know this movie is going to have a huge impact on viewers, right? Um, but I'm also curious, what was it like for you both to finally see your seven years of hard work on the big screen? What was this experience like? Oh my gosh, it was, it was like even just you asking that question makes me emotional. I mean, it was thrilling. I mean, to finally see it with the music and the sound. Um, we saw it with our crew at um, the Stag Theater at, at Skywalker Ranch all finished for the first time. And I just couldn't have been more proud. Yeah, same, ditto. You know, there's such a magic when you see something like this on the big screen. And you know, there's a, you, you get filled with pride. You know, that little tank needle, like, you know, when you see it like start to fill, but when you see the images that you worked on with an audience, it goes like it's immediate like filling up of pride. You know? Yeah, I feel like it's almost like you're raising a child, or it's like you're watching your yeah. child graduate because you've had yeah. this for seven years. So yeah, that's exactly what we say. It's mm -hmm. like we're getting red, we're we're getting the child ready to go out into the world, mm -hmm. and it's no longer ours, really. Yeah. Yeah. Elemental is a culmination of, you know, your immigrant experiences that's also drawn from your own personal lives as well. And I want to talk specifically about that parent and child dynamic we see in the movie since it's so common for children of immigrants to feel this responsibility and pressure from their parents because they feel like they have to carry your family's dreams. So as parents, how do you balance this desire to pass on your own cultural beliefs and traditions with allowing your child to to build their own and ex explore their own identities and you know what do you think parents can learn from this well there's a personal thing and then there's the movie right and the movie it's so much about opening your heart to understand someone different from you right and uh, um, there's a Venn diagram for myself that like with my kids I didn't want to put any burden on them that I had, and so, but what do you do then? And so, so much of the job is just staying there to be open-hearted to listen mm -hmm. and to hear, like, what are their wants and wishes? Do they want to know more about their identity? Mm -hmm. Should I shove it down their throats? You know, like, it's just this big question. Uh, but so it all starts with that sort of listening. Mm -hmm. That's something I'm going to take back to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> This film tackles some factors that are difficult to talk about, like, you know, we have racism in the movie, and then Pete, I also know you lost your parents during production, so um, I want to know how did you walk through this grief within yourself and also with your family, mm -hmm. because I'm curious how did they react to you basically wanting to share your story, your shared experiences with them and put it into a movie? Yeah, it was messy. I Meaning there was no clear-cut way to deal with the death. There was no clear-cut way to really understand how to, you know, mm -hmm. put yourself into a movie. There's no template for any of it. You just are making things, putting yourself in it, putting, you know, your friend's ideas into it. You're just constantly, like clay, seeing it evolve. But every time you're putting something, you are adding a little bit of yourself. But there's no, there's no formula, so it's just, it's just a messy thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know if that's a real answer, but uh. well, uh, you know, we're we're a pretty tight knit community here at Pixar. You know, we're we're not migratory like a lot of film production companies. You know, we we we're together, so we see, you know, all of our we all experience loss and the the, the good and the bad in our lives. But we're I get, I feel lucky that we get to do it together. Mm -hmm. And we have each other's back, and you know, and, and it was hard to see Pete go through such traumatic loss. And then he had the pressures of getting the movie done, right. and I, I always felt really it was hard to, to watch sometimes. Well, I'm sure your family's very proud of you. With all things considered, you both pushed through this grief, and then this also this pandemic. Um, I know you both worked together in The Good Dinosaur, mm -hmm. but how did you approach this project differently? And what would you say is the best part about? working together this time around? Yeah, the, the approach for me was just understanding our problems. Like, mm -hmm. we had a very different set of challenges with this film than the other one. You know, um, 
God. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was, I mean, being, it, it was really exciting because it was a, an original idea, and the last film we inherited. So um, it was basically, you know, trying to give Pete the space to do the story exploration that he needed. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and, and, and then we had this technical challenge and just kind of finding collabor collaborators that really resonated with the story and were really up for the challenge. And, and Pete was just, you know, he did a phenomenal job leading this, mm -hmm. this team. And, uh, and we all feel very proud of the movie, I would say. Great. Well, now that the movie's done and it'll be out really soon, um, what are your hopes for the lasting impact of Elemental and the discussions it may inspire both within Disney Pixar and, you know, the broader cinematic landscape? I hope, um, I mean, I'm excited that we're back in, big, uh, in the theater. That's something that we were, we all love cinema. The movie was made with, with that intention. Um, I think at the end of the day, I, I hope that maybe people can appreciate what their families have done, done for them regardless of, of their backgrounds. Um, and we, I, I don't know, I think we both hope that people will just really love going to the movies together with family or friends and connecting and, and experiencing the movie on that kind of visceral level. Yeah. 